Now, as the situation with North Korea intensifies, many have been reminded of the forgotten times of nuclear drills and fallout shelters. And while thousands of them still remain in New York, many are questioning if they are still active. RT's Trinity Chavez reports. There are thousands of fallout shelters located all throughout New York, as you can tell from this map behind me. There are even multiple fallout shelters on some streets. But as tensions rise between the U.S. and North Korea, the big question everyone is asking is if they should seek cover in one of these fallout shelters if a nuclear blast was to occur. I would just try to find one of those signs, the old nostalgic black and white with the little diamonds on it. Yeah, I mean, but no, again, I wouldn't know where to go. They were built in the 1960s after then-President John F. Kennedy called for a massive shelter program meant to protect the public from nuclear fallout. The shelters were equipped with survival kits with food and medicine, but the shelters that were once constructed to protect blast survivors from nuclear fallout are now inactive. Elliot Calhoun from the New York City Emergency Management Offices, the agency who sponsored the fallout shelter program says that they haven't been active in decades. Most folks, when they think about uh, a nuclear explosion or, or something like that, they think about where they need to go to shelter. And the first thing that pops in their mind are the, fall, the fallout shelter signs that you see um, sprinkled across many buildings uh, around New York City. That program has since sunsetted, and, it, uh, and that was really focused more on the Cold War threat. While the Cold War era has long ended, thousands of those small yellow metal signs remain on buildings throughout New York until now. City officials are retiring many of the signs, saying that they are misleading and want to make sure there is no confusion in the event of an actual attack. I think people would be definitely confused that, uh, that it's a safe place to go, and someone should actually say something and designate, if there is a safe place to go, to try to reaffirm that there is other places to go, don't go here. I think it's absolutely terrible, um, especially because I, I feel like that could happen soon um, with everything going on. So, I mean, I, they definitely need to find a solution. However, if a nuclear explosion did occur, experts say to seek shelter immediately, wherever that may be. Today, since we're looking at potentially sheltering up to a population of over 8 million, the best option for sheltering really is to tell folks to go into the building that they're already in or into a nearby building that is made of a concrete or brick or a thick structure um, and go as far as possible into the center of that building or down into the basement. Now, although the New York City Emergency Management Agency did not play a role in the decision-making process to have the signs removed, they did welcome the idea to do so. Reporting in New York, Trinity Chavez, RT.